The simple uh, yet colorful and vibrant tribal art of India strongly influenced my journey into using natural colors in creative art process. I um, always use this little box um, containing paints um, made from earth and plant pigments. I have been foraging pigments for quite some time now and have a growing collection of natural pigments uh, collected from different parts of the world. Hello everyone, my name is Jotsna from Lost in Colors and this is a three-part series tutorial where I will share my insights into foraging, pigment and paint making process with you. So let's begin. This part focuses on foraging pigments. Um, we live in a color rich time due to industrialization, which obviously has its drawbacks. Now, once you start looking to harvest color from your landscape, you not only become connected to the piece of art that you create, but also greatly to your landscape. I am a avid um, hiker and I spend quite a lot of time in nature and I have collected quite a few pigments from several places around the world. Um, this year we had an opportunity to travel to Tenerife. Um, the landscape that we experienced there was absolutely magnificent. Um, one of the other things is so great about this place is this is, um, this is a haven for pigment for Rogers. Now, as we were doing a hike to that distant hill with our son, um, there were exposed ochre cliffs and I collected some loosened rocks. I tested it on a large piece of rock, it gave a beautiful stain and I brought it home. Then as we were going back to where we started our hike from, there was another exposed cliff, um, which I hadn't noticed earlier, but I saw these large clumps of cle pigmented clay that had fallen from this huge a cliff which has gone through the weathering process over millions of years. I did a quick test of this clay. Um, it left um, a rich yellow stain on my hand and I knew this was um, a great uh, pigment source for my paints to be made out of from. Another um, uh, place where you can look for pigments is nothing but soil. Soils that are rich in iron oxide makes for a great source of Pigment, uh, pigments. This is another example of a more like an orangey tinge of a soil that I found on a forest floor as I was running. It was very um, rich in color. Plants also are a great source for uh, deriving pigments and uh, on Tenerife I collected dragon tree blood which is um, a red pigment present in the sap of this tree. Um, Last week we did a hike in Altenbach Plum, it's a small forested area in Austria. I live in Austria and rocks are a great source for making paints. Now some of the very best places to look for uh, rocks to make pigments and paint out of are streams, rivulets near rocky shores. This is where you find a variety of rocks gathered by nature. The pigment test is pretty quick. You pick up a rock and see if you can make mark with it. If it does, then that's a good sign. You can bring it home and then process it to derive pigments and later make paints out of them. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and it has um, inspired you to go explore your landscape, whether you live in a city, suburb or countryside. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video tutorial.